Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'd like to have a quick um, overview of how you can handle alerts in a web page using WebDriver IO. So this is a sample website where we have different kind of alerts or you know prompts we can see. So if we click on this first one, click on JS alert, we get a text here from the browser and we can click on OK. Once you click on OK, you'll get a message here, you successfully clicked on alert. Then there is a second word where you can click OK or you can click cancel and then we have a text as well. So the second first type you will have option only to click OK. Second time you can dismiss it or you can click OK either of that. So for example, I can click OK and then it will say you have clicked OK. And if you click on cancel, it will say you clicked on cancel. And the third type is where you will you'll be able to enter some data. And after that, you'll be able to cancel or click. So you, you might like enter something here and then click on OK. And then the same value will be populated here. So these three types of you know alert or, or confirmation prom prompts are there, which let's see how we can handle in WebDriver IO. So in the official documentation, we can go to API and then we have protocols. And then we have a JSON wire protocol. You'll find accept alert if you search with alert. You have different function called dismiss alert, accept alert, get alert text and the sent alert text. These are the four functions which we'll discuss in detail. But if you scroll to the top, JSON wire protocol is deprecated now and it is replaced by WebDriver I protocol, WebDriver protocol. So this is here, WebDriver protocol. So if you click here, it's a same kind of page, same details, but it will be using WebDriver protocol. So we have option called dismiss alert, accept alert, get alert text and send alert text. Let's see, so how we can handle these kind of scenarios using the functions that is available. So I've just written here, using WebDriver IO protocol, these are the syntax. For accepting alert, you have to say browser.accept alert. For dismissing, you have to say browser.dismiss alert. To retrieve any text, you have to say browser.get alert text. And if you want to send something, you can say browser.send alert text and then value you want to provide. So I've already written the basic code where I'm opening the URL, maximizing the window, and I have written locator for this three button and to retrieve the text of this result based on action you perform so what we can do now so first things as soon as this page opens you need to perform click on this first button right click on js alert so let's write a code for that await js alert button dot click and if multiple of it gets added extra you can remove it after performing click it opens so you can validate this text and then, and then you can click on okay so how we can validate the text first you need to retrieve it so let's write an assertion here expect await browser dot get alert text which function we have to equal and then with the string what is string we have i am js alert so we are validating whether after clicking we are able to see this text or not that's what we are writing here expect you need to write await here because we are getting alert text and then two equal. Now we don't have to write await here because two equal does not deal with any promise here. It's just a plain string. So you don't have to add await here. You have to add await before browser dot get alert text. Then once you uh, that assertion is done, you can click OK and then validate whether this text is appearing or not. So now you have to accept the alert. So for that await browser dot accept alert is a function. And after that, let's validate, await this particular element dot, we have a function called to have text, sorry, await, expect this particular element to have text. And what text? We can just copy this text, right? So this is our code. So this is going to first perform, click on the alert, then validate whether the particular text that means this text exists and then accept the alert which is accept alert click ok and then validate this text is appearing or not that's what we are doing here now this is for one there is another alert where we have click on js to confirm so let's run this first and see whether this is working fine or not i'll just say it dot only so that it runs only this test case wdio conf i'll say alert dot text yes now let me run this code npm run test yeah it's loading the url clicked and it was so fast that we couldn't see but it executed also and then if you see the test has passed 
and if you if you want to be sure whether this is working fine or not let me see if i give here some wrong data like if we add assertion we are expecting i am j, j alert but what if i add some extra value and then if you run the test again it should fail because it will validate with the wrong data that we are trying to perform we are expecting i am js alert but we are adding one two three also so that means assertion should fail just to be sure our code is working perfectly fine as expected now if you notice here the test has failed and exactly we got the error so expected was this but we received this because we have given the wrong data that means our code what we are doing like writing is working fine if you are giving the correct expected data it is passing so this is one is done now let's see how we can handle the second alert that is once you click if you click on you can dismiss it so cancel means dismissing the alert okay means accepting the alert right so this is our locator first we need to perform click on this so i'll say await js confirm button dot click and if you get multiple await added here i'll remove it okay once you remove it it will so once you click on it it will open this now i'm not going to validate this text because we have already done it here in the previous test case so here all i want to do is first i want to dismiss the alert so we have to say browser dot if you want to click on cancel once you click on cancel you'll get you clicked on cancel result so let's try to perform cancel so how you can perform cancel with the help of dismiss alert so it is a browser dot dismiss alert and then let's validate await expect a result to have text what text you clicked on cancel button because we are dismissing again let's click on the same button now this time not dismiss but we will accept the alert so instead of dismiss alert accept the alert and then let's validate the text again now what happens once you click on ok so if you click on ok then this text will come you clicked on ok right so this is the alert that we are trying to verify and let me segregate a bit here so uh, and let me remove only from here and add only here so because we want to run only this test case what we are trying to do we are clicking on that confirmation button we are de declining the alert that means we are clicking on cancel button and then we are validating whether this text has come or not that's what we are doing it here then we are clicking the button again that means we are clicking clicking a bucket button again then we are this time accepting the alert by clicking ok so how we can we have accept alert function and then we are validating after accepting whether we are getting this text you clicked on ok or not that's what we are trying to validate now let's try to run this and see whether the test is working fine or not because we are using standalone or selenium standalone the execution is a bit slow but yeah it's loading it is going to be quick yeah it performed quickly clicked on ok i think the cancel also is done so it was too fast we couldn't see but yeah uh, the test case has been passed and if you want to you know validate whether it's working fine or not let's say again uh, we click on cancel here dismiss alert but we will valid we will try to validate whether it is coming okay or not but usually when you click on dismiss it should it will say cl you clicked on cancel button right so we are just trying to you know test negatively so that when something goes wrong it should fail so this time it's going to fail because we are trying to validate with ok here but this is coming as cancelled so if you see the test has failed and as expected it has expected was okay but came cancelled because we are trying to dismiss the alert but we are validating whether it should be okay so yeah it is working fine and then we have to cancel now the third type is click on js prompt so we get a prompt here we enter some data like testing and then once you click on it accept it you'll get here you entered testing and if you click again and you enter nothing and simply click on cancel you entered null you'll get so let's try to handle that i'll remove it dot only from here and i'll add in that last one now let's first perform a click so await js prompt button dot click Let's remove multiple weights. Once you click on it, 
pop up will open so you need to enter some data right so how you can do await browser dot send alert text and then some text what you can do testing and then once you click on once you enter after that you need to accept the alert so you have to say browser dot accept alert once you accept the alert then validate whether this text has come or not that means once you enter testing here and you click on it you need to validate whether this text has come or not here so you have to say expect await browser dot get alert text to equal and then this one now this is first time when we are entering the data now i'm copying again and this time instead of adding anything here i'm typing the same thing but i'm not accepting i'm dismissing the alert so this time it will say you entered null and i'm giving some time here once the alert comes right after that i'm just giving some time so that visually we can see so i'll add two seconds of time just to show you whether we are able to enter this data or not here and after dismissing also here so first we'll enter the data we'll accept the alert we'll validate whether we got a text like you entered testing or not then you again enter the data dismiss the alert and then validate whether you are getting it. you entered null or not so this, let's try to run this scenario as well it's loading the site it opened here okay it entered but it was quick so we couldn't see but if you see here you i think something has failed it's saying no such alert let's see where it is failing so if you want to find the issue you can see here it failed at line number oh so what we are trying to do here we we are doing get, uh, get alert text which is wrong we are not validating a get alert text we are validating the result that means after accepting the alert here after entering we need to perform click and then validate retrieve this text so i was doing it wrong you have to say result and instead of to equal to have text same for here as well and i'll add a oh, wait yeah just to be sure so after accepting the alert we need to validate this particular text okay so i was doing it wrong now let's try to read it again okay maximizing it entered that it was quick entered null and it has closed it was little quick but we couldn't see it completely but it has validated it and it has passed so yeah that's all i wanted to show how we can handle different alert if you want to accept the alert or if you want to click ok button in the alert you have to use browser.accept alert if you want to click on cancel you have to say dismiss alert if you want to retrieve the text you have to say get alert text and if you want to send a value in the alert you have to say send alert text with the value you want to it. so these are the four syntax that you can use to handle this different alerts that's all for this video thank you so much